Impact fees, what are they and how do they affect a second generation restaurant space? Hey everybody, how are you? It's John Brewer here, South Florida's restaurant guy with Azor Brewer Restaurant Advisors. One of the biggest reasons that second generation space, restaurant space is so valuable. And when I mention second generation restaurant space, what I mean is a space that's already previously been built out for a restaurant. That means that the infrastructure is in place, the plumbing, the electric, the water, all those things, uh, which I guess is part of plumbing. Anyway, you guys get the picture. Um, so a restaurant, as, as you can imagine, uh, draws a lot more than a clothing store. So if a restaurant is going into a space and there hasn't been a restaurant there previously, there will be a thing involved called impact fees. Uh, the Wikipedia definition of an impact fee is a fee that is imposed by a local government within the United States on a new or proposed development project to pay for all or a portion of the cost of providing public services to the new development. Impact fees are considered to be a charge on new development to help fund and pay for the construction or needed expansion of off-site capital improvements. These fees are usually implemented to help reduce the economic burden on local jurisdictions that are trying to deal with population growth within the area. Uh, they were first started in 1947. They're also called tap-in fees. Uh, basically, it, it, it relates to uh, a business that's going to be taxing the, the utilities more than normal. I uh, just read a recent article by John Kunkel, who is of the Yardbird fame in Miami and restaurateur uh, bar none. And uh, one of the things he brought up was uh, if you decide to build and buy rather than rent, there definitely will be governmental impact fees if you're buying a building and, and putting a restaurant in. Kunkel has found in his experiences in Florida, the impact fees can range anywhere from 20000 to 120,000. Uh, that's a considerable expense. Uh, a lot of the brokers I've met with recently have told me how deals have gone south when they have uh, had experiences with impact fees that, that broke a deal. Um, I know recently we just saw a space that uh, was about 85% done. And I don't know if it was impact fees or not, but 85% uh, done and they never even opened their door. So they didn't finance themselves properly, they didn't budget themselves properly. And uh, there's a considerable ex expense, uh, which is why second generation restaurant space is so valuable. Um, so that, that's basically why I just wanted to get out and, and talk about what impact fees are. I know we've talked about grease traps and now we're talking about impact fees. Impact fees are one of the big reasons why uh, second generation space is so uh, valuable for a restaurant tour because the main thing is you want to mitigate as much risk as possible, which means putting as much capital outlay as possible. So thanks for listening. My name is John Brewer, South Florida's restaurant guy with Azor Brewer Restaurant Advisors. We locate, we evaluate, we negotiate uh, for second generation restaurant spaces. That's all we do. Uh, give me a call, 561-573-7333 in South Florida. And uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.